um, some of the some of the most um, common uh, things that people do, our teachers do, our colleagues do these days, is collaboration. We tell uh, students to collaborate, so we cannot use the um, um, or limit collaboration amongst teachers. And when they collaborate, they don't just collaborate with the guy next door; they collaborate halfway around the world. And a, a lot of the central managed uh, learning management system. Uh, teachers are finding them very restrictive in terms of, I want my friend in um, US, um, uh, well, MIT to join in my course because he is actually going to talk to my student for one time and I want him to look at my materials and everything. And uh, some of the institutions, I don't know uh, which ones, whether it happens to you, but some of the institutions will make it very difficult for them to add what we would call external users. But external users to, to the institution are actually the world citizen. We're talking about globalization. So that actually had to work out as well. So I, I would see that the institution has to streamline those kind of process in order to help the teachers. <coughs> students are easy. Students are really easy. But, uh, and I actually think the student will actually push the, the limit for the teachers. They will actually demand, and why are we not doing that? Why are we not, we're not having that? But on the other hand, students, um, may be exposed to other things or uh, so you uh, I remember talking to a group of students about um, blogs and wikis in particular uh, they said that I want to do my homework on the learning management system provided by the university but don't touch my blogs and wikis outside because those are my things I communicate with my friends like that, and don't you dare ask me to do things on Facebook and hand it in, hand it in to you. So they will have a different perspective. They're quite happy to share, quite happy to do things, but uh, they want to do it in their domain, separate from the education domain. So we actually have to take care of that. Now, I've just joined a new institution, and I've seen the, the yellow, the, my, my previous institution, how they are going to develop and things like that. So I'm actually going to um, leave with a slide to what to consider. It's a lot of, although we said that technology is moving very fast and, and we have to uh, run with it and the digital native, digital uh, immigrant issues, but maintaining interest and relevance is important because we're not using technology for technology's sake. It's actually for teaching and learning. So it's not every piece of new technology you will use it. And then after a while, uh, when you run workshops on Blackboard, or workshops on WebCT, or workshops on Moodle, nobody will come because after they put the, work, the, the notes onto the learning management system, what else do they need? So you actually have to change the tone of the, the um, workshop to how do you do uh, classroom engagement? How do you actually make use of the one minute paper with e-learning? So in, in, in essence, the boundary between e and non-e becomes one. It's actually one uh, learning pedagogy. Um, system stability, I don't have to say that because uh, uh, apart from the fact that ch uh, system changes, you know, uh, there's also the problem of upgrades, there's also from technology, everything. Um, when to change and when to upgrade and when to, I mean, David mentioned that they're running away from WebCT in 18 months, as long as that, Some, something like that, and they're considering change, so do you change to something like Moodle or, or um, desire to learn, what, how do you choose them? Uh, apart from money, there are other considerations. Uh, then I think one of the things that I want to leave you with is continuity and succession. What happens when your champion goes? What happens because people do move around? Uh, and what happens when your new su when your support team cannot support, say, if you change over, not doing a web CT? So your whole support team are used to web CT. They are the first one to actually face the change to supporting another system. Do you actually stack them all and make them new ones and, and employ new ones, or do you retrain them? So those are the things that making e-learning continuing important. So after that. I will, like David, leave you. Um, oh no! I'll leave you my contact address, or contact email, and thank you for that. Thank you.